With the uh, spring carnival now well behind us, the race that stops the nation on water on Boxing Day is the iconic Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race. Now today the build-up begins with the official launch and our reporter John Pearson is on deck with a very special crew member. Absolutely, Chris. Yes, just 29 days to go now to the 68th Rolex Sydney to Hobart and making his second trip south, Jeff Hugel. Jeff, uh, you'll be on board ragamuffin loyal as it is now, the defending champion. So uh, you've, I guess you opened yourself up to uh, a tough one this year, haven't you? Yeah, exactly right. It's, uh, it, it's going to be quite exciting to go down on my second journey and, and to hopefully defend the title for uh, ragamuffin loyal. And um, uh, look, it's going to be great. You know, we've got Sid Fisher on board who's going for his 44th loyal, uh, sorry, uh, Hobart. And, um, you know, to be part of that crew and to learn from Sid is, is something I'm looking forward to. As you say, you've, you've done it once before, two years ago. Uh, you've had the small matter of an Olympics in between and a retirement from swimming. So uh, what's brought you back to, to sailing? Yeah, I, I think it's in your blood. Um, you know, for me to have that opportunity to, to be part of that crew again, um, you know, that's the one thing I really miss from the sport is, is that teamwork and that unity. Um, you know, I, I guess if you're part of a successful crew or, or, or part of a team in sailing, then, um, you know, a lot of that bond is definitely still there. You were saying in the uh, the presser just, just a moment ago that uh, you found the toughest part about in 2010 was the sleep deprivation. Are you prepared for that this time? Yeah, a little bit prepared. Um, you know, having a 10-month-old daughter definitely um, gets me up, up during all hours of the night. Um, but, but look, that's, that was one of the toughest things. Um, you know, you work six hours on and then three hours off. And, you know, last uh, in 2010 when I went down, um, we were battling 40 foot, uh, 40 not winds and, and five metre swell. So hopefully this year when we go down, the, the wind's going to be at our back and it's going to be a much smoother ride and, um, you know, we can defend our title. I think we may have asked you this a couple of years ago, but how much does your experience in the water or on the water as a swimmer, can that prepare you for a, a race such as this? Um, I, I don't know if it prepares you. I think the biggest thing that um, that does help is 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 that whole teamwork aspect. Um, you know, setting goals and, and and working with a group of guys that want the same outcome. Um, you know, there's a, a very experienced crew that is going down, and, and and Sid has pulled in some of the best from all over the world. Um, you know, so to be able to work with these guys and to learn from them um, and, and to learn how they tick and how the whole crew works and, and comes together as one unit, um, it, it are definitely skills that you can take on to everything else you do in life. As you say, Sid, you mentioned him. He's a tough taskmaster. He's, uh, he's done, what, 44 Sydney to Hobarts. I hear he doesn't take uh, to mistakes too lightly, so <laughs> can you handle that? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to make any mistakes. That's probably the first rule. But, um, no, it's, it's going to be quite good. I, I, I think, like everyone that wants to win, um, you want it done right and, and you have a, a, a level of uh, professionalism about the way or, or how things unfold. And, um, you know, unfortunately, um, in, in sailing, there are so many variables, um, whether it's with the wind or whether it's with your equipment. Um, fingers crossed that everything can stay together and we can get down there in one piece. And apart from yourself, Jeff, uh, we hear that there's a space for an, at least another two celebrity sailors on Ragamuffin Loyal. So can you give us any secrets as to who may they be? They be? Yeah, oh, look, I couldn't tell you who they could be. Um, but uh, look, it'll be quite exciting, uh, you know, and this is the fun part now. 29 days to go until we, we take off. And, um, you know, this is when the team really starts to come together and gel as one team. And, you know, if we can grab some of the old, older guys there that have got a little bit of experience from the past, um, then, then it'll be um, even more exciting. All right, Jeff Hugel, enjoy the build-up over the next four weeks and happy sailing. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, there we go, Chris. Uh, the build-up has officially begun to the 68th Sydney to Hobart. Not too far away now, Jeff Hugel lining up for event number two and uh, he's on the defending champion, Ragamuffin Loyal. But Wild Oats 11, desperate to get her title back after, uh, what, five previous line honours wins. So it should be really uh, tough sailing at the, at the point of the fleet this year. Absolutely, John. Thanks very much for that.